Yo, what is up guys? This is Tito back with another video and today in this video I'm going to be showing you the latest stable ROM MIUI 10 3.7 and as you can see the version over here on the Redmi Note 7 Pro I have over here and I was using custom ROMs on this device like for a couple of weeks and right now I did flash like fastboot flash this like stock ROM over here the MIUI 10.3.7.0 ROM and there are some problems there are some good things too which have been fixed and which have been implemented i'll talk about everything today in this video so let's start this video so first of all like i have to say the rom feels a lot smoother than it was like some of the versions like miui 10.2.8 i as far as i remember was a really buggy rom but right now it is like there is no lag at all i have been using this Hoko launcher over here which has the double tap to sleep and stuff in the home screen like anywhere in the home screen so i love those features that's why i have been using it and the camera well yes the camera have been improved and the 48 megapixel option is right now over here like the china roms and over here you do not get the like lot of shot taking option at the same time but yeah you get the 48 megapixel option right here like close over to the photo section so that is pretty good i would say and one more thing that I want to talk about is the video. Well, the videos have been a little bit glitchy like in the past and even right now I would say it's a tad bit stuttery but you won't even notice it because quietly it has been fixed. So here are some examples which I have shot like with the video mode and like you can see from these videos or you can get an idea about like how is the video quality right now. The slow motion and stuff was like a little bit jittery too so here is an example of the slow mo and as you can see from this video example the slow motion have been fixed too i think a little bit problems you may face while you are moving the camera in slow mo but other than that if you are static like if you are holding the device static you won't feel a lot jitteriness at all over here but the slow motion quality a little bit improved i would say right now over here and even the photo quality is pretty great right now over here with the MIUI stock camera so no issues whatsoever as you can see from this picture the picture quality is pretty good so that is pretty much it for the stock camera and yes you can shoot 4k videos too with the stock camera too you don't need to worry as you can see we have the UHD 4k 30fps 1080p 30fps option and the 1080p 60fps 720p 30fps etc options over here for the stock camera and over here you can install google camera too because camera to api pre-enabled on this device like from before it is not like enabled by default on this update it was already enabled previously so the like google camera and stuff everything works but if you are using google camera make sure to go into the settings of your camera like whatever google camera you have go to the saturation adjustments just bump up the highlight saturation to 2.2 or 2.3 then like you can like even control the shadow saturation too if you want to but google camera 2 over here you can install and camera to is pre enabled no issues whatsoever regarding that now let's talk about the features what are the new things over here that you may find well of course the earlier they have implemented the like hide notch option so for that you have to go to this full screen display and over here you will get this hide notch option on top i am using the full screen gestures by the way and it's been working super fine over here no issues and if you tap on this hide notch it will like take a moment and as you can see it hides the camera notch over here like the pixel 3 xl i think as far as i remember and this looks pretty cool i would say and we have the rounded corners too so that is pretty good this is how it looks like up close and if i can like scroll down from here as you can see it just looks like this pretty good i would say like if you don't want to get the notch on your face like all the time you can just hide the notch from here so this is pretty cool feature i would say let me just disable it and let's go back and over here 
let's go to the settings panel again and if you if i go to the display we have the dark mode over here so if you enable it and as you can see everything straight up becomes dark and the home screens google stuff and and google now cards even or i mean the, not the google now cards the me why now kind of thing over here to the left side becomes dark too with this poco launcher and if you scroll down as you can see even the notification panel or the quick settings panel becomes dark too so this looks pretty dope i would say and like if you love dark mode this is gonna pretty much help you as you can see but of course this is not a amulet display so it won't save battery or something like that talking about the battery well the battery life over here is pretty insane here are some screenshots regarding the battery life i have been getting pretty amazing battery life this ram can last you a whole working day without any issues you can definitely get around eight to nine hours of screen on time pretty easily you do not need to worry and over here some things that like did disappoint me first thing that i will say i accidentally put my geo sim on the second slot and then i noticed that i could not receive any sms or i could not send any text messages to like any number like i could not simply set up whatsapp because like if i have to set up whatsapp i have to send the sms through whatsapp like the normal security code sms and that sms could not be just sent and even if it did i could not receive the message or like i could not receive the whatsapp text over here like the security code text so that pretty much annoys me so i could not set up everything at all like i tried to set up google pay and stuff with the sim on the second slot but i could not receive any sms so this is a bug i think like if you put your geo sim or any other sims on the second sim slot you gotta keep in mind that it won't be able to like receive any sms so you, if you would like to take the advantage of the sms services on 2019 just like put the sim card on the first slot if you are on this rom and the app open up speeds and stuff is pretty smooth over here as you can see all the apps opens like almost right away and the app open up animations too are pretty smooth over here as you can see it doesn't glitch at all it opens like almost right away when you tap on a uh, app and like let me show you once again and the memory management too over here is pretty good and the animations over here is pretty good too as you can see this is pretty fast as you can see it is almost blazing fast like all the apps stays in memory no issues whatsoever regarding the like ram management over here and this like you can go to the recent panel like this and the rom is really really smooth no issues whatsoever at all over here as you can see so no issues whatsoever the rom is really really smooth and the gaming performance and stuff is pretty similar as it was and the gaming performance over here is pretty good here is the enter score of this rom and here is the fingerprint scanner speed of this rom And here is how it looks like while you plug in the phone right now in this ROM. Looks pretty dope. And if you go into the about version or like about section of this phone, as you can see the security patch level is of the 1st May 2019 I think. And the MIUI version is 10.3.7 of course. And you can see the other stuff from here. And the Android version is of course still 9 Pi over here as you can see. Now one more bad thing that I found over here is the like a problem with the brightness. Well let me just show you. If you lower the brightness to like this. So I don't know if you can see it or not but if there is auto brightness enabled and if you put the brightness in too low like this at this like I don't know if you can see it let me just try to show it to you second most icon or like the dot over here if you put the brightness over there the screen currently like right now it's is flickering it's really like hard to notice but yeah it is flickering the like brightness the whole screen is flickering a little bit and as you can see on the camera over here here as you can see the auto brightness sensor is breathing so over here i think there is some kind of problem with the auto brightness let me just disable it so i still see that like a little bit of flickering of the screen brightness but yeah maybe this is a problem with my unit but i never seen it in the past and right now i am noticing it i think this is a problem of the build maybe but i don't know maybe it's not with others like with full brightness or even very low brightness this is not at all a problem like i if i just turn up the brightness the screen is just fine there is no problems of that screen flickering at all 
and of course there are ads here and there in the UI but we can't help it it's typical MIUI right now these days so you will see ads in the UI but make sure to disable recommendations on each MIUI apps whichever you use I do not use most of the Mi apps like Mi music or Mi videos but if you use them god bless you and of course the geo volte calls and stuff works super fine and even dual volte works over here and like google pay and stuff all the banking apps should be working fine of course this is a stock stable rom so no issues whatsoever regarding those but uh, like wide fine uh, security level becomes level 3 because like i have unlocked bootloader if your bootloader is locked it will still be level 1 do not worry and otherwise the rom is super fine everything is working the sound output via the headphone jack is amazing over here and even bluetooth devices like the like me bluetooth headphones and stuff everything is working fine with this update and the update is like making the phone a little bit better and better in like with time and like everything is a lot like smoother over here and the picture quality is pretty good over here with cameras over here so that is pretty much it guys give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful to you and subscribe to the channel if you are new here and make sure to hit the bell icon to get notified when i upload each videos so that is pretty much it guys thank you so much for watching again this is tito from kdn tech signing off for today i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now